Last week, I put out a video on the HT Zero goggles showing you a quirk that will cause them to reboot when using them with Crossfire. To cause it, you have to bring your Crossfire remote on over 250 milliwatts, either within a few inches of the goggles or close to the power cable. Now, this only actually happens with 900 or 868 meg systems. The HD Zero goggles are not affected by any 2.4 gig system at all, whether that be Express, LRS, Tracer, or any of the others. It only happens with 900 or 868 megs, but that could be Express, LRS, Crossfire, or any other 868 or 900 based RF system. Now, today I want to walk you through some mitigation and some fixes for this. There is something you can do to prevent it affecting the power cable, which is quick and easy and cheap. And I'm going to walk you through that first of all. But there is also a mod that Carl has shared on a change that you can make in the goggles that will prevent them rebooting altogether. Now, personally, my advice is to do the power cable mod and not worry about what you actually have to do inside the goggles. I personally don't feel that most people would need to bring Crossfire within two or three inches of the goggles. It is very good to be aware of that if you were putting them both on the ground. But the biggest issue in this quirk wasn't for me about the goggles. It was the fact that if you had a long battery cable and you had a LiPo in your pocket, you could accidentally in flight get a bit close with your crossfire transmitter and then cause the goggles to reboot. So what we're going to do first of all is take a look at what you can do with the power cable that should prevent that happening. Now, just to demonstrate without any filtering on at all, we've got our power cable. As I showed in the last video, we know if we get too close to the goggles or the power cable, it will reset, but I will show it to you here again. Obviously, we've got HD zero down there in the corner. Now, if we come in and I just move it around the power cable, you'll see there's a point we got to there. So literally a few inches, what are we there? Probably a foot up from the battery and it caused the goggles to reboot. Now, to prevent this, we're going to install some ferrite cores or beads on our power cable. Now, there are many different types and sizes and shapes of these. You can get some nice long barrel ones. Unfortunately, I don't have any. The only two I managed to find around the workshop was these. So this is what I'm going to demonstrate it with today. Now, I am going to test it with two of these, but it will work with just one. I have done the tests on that already. Now, what we need to do is take our power cable and wrap it around these two ferrite cores. Now, ferrite is a bit of a magic material because it tends to do all sorts of things seemingly without doing anything at all. What it's great for is removing RFI or interference from cables that's being transmitted either along the outside, if it's a metal cable or a pipe, or via, say, an earth shield inside. Now, I'm not going to get into too much depth on these things because they are somewhat classed as black magic by most people. But what I can say is that they do absolutely work. And what you want to do is wrap your cable around in such a way that you've got plenty going through. So what we've got here is the cable coming in. We're wrapping it around. We've got our in, around the cores, and out that side there. Now, as I've said, you can get smaller cores. These are just the two I had lying around. And what's important when you're doing it like this is that you do have an in and an out. So you can see our in is staying over this side and our out is over this side. And what you want to make sure is when you're doing this that those two don't get too close, otherwise it could bridge. But what you're looking for is basically something like that. OK, so to test this with the large rings installed. Now, what's important is that we keep the input and the output away from each other. So we're going to keep that nice and straight. That way, there's no possibility of crossing. It means that all of the coils go around the ferrite beads and then it heads out the other side. Now, just like in the original video, we've got the HD Zero goggles connected and turned on, and you can see that through the HDMI down there, and you're looking at a camera view from behind me over there. So what we're going to do is take Crossfire. It's currently set to one watt of RF output, exactly the same as before. And what we're going to do is come in and move around the cable, keeping it parallel. I, I can go across it, but parallel is where it is most likely to be affected. 
if we come around not getting anything in fact let's take it to the extreme let's actually literally wrap that cable around it and we're getting no reboot at all all looking good untangle it from those two and again the ferrite bead has definitely had an effect compared to what we were seeing earlier exactly the same cable so it's clear that having some ferrite beads up here definitely has an effect it doesn't solve the problem of bringing it too close to the goggles this will only solve the problem on the power cable so for instance if we just make sure we're doing as much as we can there's no no effect whatsoever however if i do come in towards the goggle you will see it starts to have an effect and if i get too close it will reboot now these ferrite beads i've got here are fairly large you can get some much better clip-on ones they're designed to be used on av equipment they usually come in two halves actually that go around a power cable i get ones with a center bore size of at least eight mil that way you can bring your cable up and through and around i'll put some up on screen now so you can see them they're available quite cheap online you can get them for a couple of quid on ebay and in fact you could actually put a couple of them on the power cable that way it should solve it i would though make sure you loop it round at least once you want to go up and round and then back out again that way it should have the maximum effect now, as I've said, that will solve the problem for the power cable. However, that doesn't solve the issue with regards to the goggles rebooting when you're getting close. Now, there is a mod that you can do internally to the goggles. I'm not going to actually do it in this video, but I am going to show you an image up on the screen of what I've been shared by Carl, and that allows you to actually prevent the goggles rebooting altogether as a result of Crossfire. Now, there are a couple of places you can actually do this, but the simplest is here, and it involves soldering a 0.1 UF capacitor across the power switch. If you take a look here, this is the power input board. You've got your power input connector there, and then you've got your power switch down here next to it, and you can see it involves soldering a 0.1 UF cap across these two pins, and that will prevent the goggles rebooting altogether when you get crossfire too close. Now there is a second place you can do this. It's on the right hand side RF board. Again, involves soldering a 0.1 UF cap. You can see it means bridging it from here across to that component there. That component is the first, second, third, fourth, fifth one down. I can't quite see what that is looking. It looks black, so it looks like a resistor. And what you're doing is adding a cap from that side of the resistor to there. However, the simplest mod is to do it on the power switch. This here is far simpler and easier to do. So that is two different ways you can resolve this issue. For me, doing the power cable is the simplest option. Now, I do know some people have been playing with this and one of the users on the HD0 Discord has also tried it with a fully grounded power cable as well, with a proper grounded outside sheath. That didn't fully resolve it, but it did improve it. So a situation like that power cable definitely with ferrite beads should solve that side of the issue. However, in my tests with the standard power cable, these beads pretty much stopped it. I haven't tried it with one of the long ones, but I see no reason why that wouldn't work. Again, as I've said, I get one of the ones that splits in half, try to loop your cable through at least twice, maybe three times. That way it should help prevent it. But if that doesn't work, getting one like this, and it does work with just one as well. I did try a single one and that should stop it. Now, I don't see the goggles rebooting with you bringing the remote too close as a major issue in itself. I think the power cable mod should solve it for most people.
Now, that's it from me on this one. I hope you have found it interesting. If you have any questions, please do put them in the comments below and I will try and answer them. I want to say a big thank you to Carl for sharing some of the info with us on how to prevent this. It wasn't Carl who sent over with the ferrite beads. That was from some discussions on my Discord server. But obviously, Carl sent over the info on the board mod. So I want to say a big thank you from me to him. And hopefully, this will resolve the problem for most people people. Anyway, if you found this video interesting, please do give it a like. Please do make sure you are subscribed. There is a link to my Patreon in the description as well if you'd like to support the channel. Stay safe. I'll speak to you soon.